Welcome back to Hoochos. Today on Hoochos, I'm gonna be showing you how to create these. These are part A and part B hydroponic stock solutions, highly concentrated hydroponic stock solutions that will make mixing reservoirs simple and easy. I'll show you how to make them. Okay, so first of all, I want to outline that we are not creating the nutrients from scratch. That will be in a future video if there's enough interest in the comments below. But we're actually going to be taking our dry powdered A and B nutrient and creating a stock solution that will make res changes easy and it will also give you a more consistent nutrient for your hydroponic gardening at home. Now, there are a few reasons why you would want to make your dry nutrient into a part A, part B stock nutrient solution. And those reasons are for ease of reservoir change, to make sure that the nutrients in the nutrient powder are evenly distributed throughout the nutrient that you are adding into the res that you're using. So in transport, the bags can shake around and cause uneven dispersal of nutrient within the bags purely because of the particle size of the mix. So when we add in bulk nutrient into the liquid, it will actually evenly disperse throughout the liquid stock solution. The third reason is so that we can use a peristaltic pump to pump the nutrient based on EC readings that are taken from a digital EC reader and control that peristaltic pump. Now, this is for automated systems and it's probably more for commercial systems, although I know a ton of viewers are tinkerers and love Arduino, as well as getting their fingers into the Raspberry Pis. So let's start by getting our fingers dirty and we can head into the studio where I can show you how to mix your own stock solution. Okay, so we're going to need a few things to begin with. We're going to need two containers. Now, I recommend a container with a tap so that you can just pour the nutrient into whatever measuring cup you have. Um, I would actually recommend something that I don't have here, which is a wide opening at the top. So maybe a larger lid um, because getting the nutrient in is a lot easier and also stirring it. Although with smaller 20 liter drums like this, you can shake it. If you are storing it outside or near any light source like a grow light, you will need it to be light proof as well. However, I'll be storing these inside and not near any light, so it should be absolutely fine. The second thing you'll need is your hydroponic nutrient. Now, my nutrient is these. These are the Campbell's Diamond Spec T and the Campbell's Nitro Cal. So calcium nitrate, which is part B, and the other NPK water soluble fertilizer that is hydroponic grade of fertilizer. It's also greenhouse grade of fertilizer. So these are the fertilizers that I use. However, I understand that not everyone resides in Australia. So if you want to find out the cheapest fertilizer for your area, just head to the Hucho's Reddit. And at the top, there is a sticky post with people's recommendations of hydroponic fertilizers that they're using around the world. Now, if you are using a good value hydroponic fertilizer, and you're from other parts of the world, please leave a comment on that Reddit sticky post and you'll be helping people to source quality cheap fertilizer around the world. So first things first, we have to figure out how much of our nutrient actually dissolves into how much water. Now my containers are 20 liters and I'm aiming to get five kilograms of nutrient into those. The reason being, for my nutrient, it is one gram per liter of water for both the part A and part B. So if I was to do a thousand liters of water, I would put a kilogram of nutrient part A and a kilogram of nutrient part B into my reservoir. That is the ratio that is recommended by the manufacturer. So if we take five kilograms and mix it into 20 liters of water or five kilograms and top it up to 20 liters, we then have a ratio of 
four mils per one liter of water. And that will just make it a lot easier for me to do calculations and whatnot. If I were to do 10 liters, I would put 40 mils. If I were to do 100 liters, I'd put 400 mils. If I were to do 1,000 liters, I'd put 4,000 mils or four liters. Now for containers this size, you're probably not gonna be dosing 1,000 liter resins. You'll be using these for crack key setups or 100 liter containers. Something that just makes it a lot easier than measuring out your nutrients and it gives you a better consistency as well. So to find out how much water we need to mix our nutrient into, I'm going to take our nutrient. Now I keep my nutrient in containers that seal like these because it keeps the moisture out of the nutrient once you've opened the bag. And as you can see, the part A looks like this. That is the MPK plus micros. That is the diamond spec T. And our part B looks like this. That is our calcium nitrate, our nitro cal. So to find out how much water we need to mix these nutrients, I'm just going to use a scale and a measuring jug, and I'm going to add in one kilogram of nutrients. Now, I am sorry for the American viewers and those that use other units, but you can kind of get the idea of how you would do this. You would just convert it to your freedom units. So that's a kilogram. And here I have one and a half liters of hot water, which I'll just add to a nutrient. And these are my best friend. These are actually brewer's spoons and they're used to mix homebrew, but they work really well for nutrient. So I'm just gonna mix this up and we'll see how dissolved we can get in one and a half liters of water. Okay, we're not fully dissolved, so I'll add a little bit more water. I'm just gonna add cold water this time. And we've still got a little bit left on the bottom, you can see. So that's almost dissolved. If I take that up to four liters, that is going to be absolutely perfect. And four times five is 20. So our one kilogram of nutrient up to four liters, and that gives us our nutrient ratio. So I'll add in another liter of water up to the four mark. There is our end stock solution. Now remember to add in the one kilogram of nutrient first, you wanna add the water after the nutrient and bring it up to four liters of water. And that will give you the stock solution that you wanna achieve. And this solution will yield one liter of full strength 2.4 EC nutrient per four mils of stock solution. Now that we've tested how much solution we need to dissolve our nutrient, we can happily just add in our nutrient straight into our container because we know that the nutrient will dissolve into the 20 liters. So I'll just measure out our five kilograms minus one because we're gonna add that in afterwards and then we can mix it in the container. I highly recommend a large brim for your container too. Like these are just the containers I had lying around and I think I'm gonna regret this. It's probably better that you get a round container too maybe because I reckon you're gonna to wanna to get some centrifugal action going here when you're stirring, which I'm probably not gonna be able to do with these containers here. So I'm actually gonna take these to another tap that has hot water and fill them up there. Now, you may find that you need more water or less water but just take it on a nutrient by nutrient basis. So we're gonna do that for the part B as well. And then we can test to make sure that the strength of the nutrient that we've created actually allows us to add it to a liter of water and hit the appropriate EC that we're trying to achieve. So to this one, I'm going to add in five kilos of the calcium nitrate. And if you've got a 3D printer, you can print off one of the collectors from the vertical system and use that to add in your nutrients to these tubs. How good. So good.
and I'm going to fill that up with hot water too. I should specify in this video that we don't add the two nutrients together into the same stock solution because at high concentrations, they will actually interact with each other and you'll get interactions between the two nutrient solutions which will cause them to precipitate either calcium, carbonate, or some other form of insoluble material will fall out of solution and be unavailable to our hydroponic plants. So now we're actually going to test whether these solutions are at the correct ratios by adding them into five liters of water. So for five liters of water, we would want five grams. So one gram per liter times five is five and five times four is 20. So we're going to add in 20 mils of each into this five liters of water. We're going to stir it up and then we're going to measure our EC, 20. I need a smaller measure of. That's better. Okay, so we're going to put 20 of part B in first, which is counterintuitive, but that's the way it is. Now, the naming conventions are standardized, so part A will always be your other nutrients and part B will always be your calcium nitrate. But we add part B first to mix our nutrient solution to full strength. So 20 mils of part B and 20 mils of part A. Now, in case you're wondering, yes, this is how a lot of hydroponic stores actually create their own liquid nutrients. They will purchase powdered nutrient or make their own powdered nutrient and then water it down into a part A, part B. Or if they're really clever, an ionic one part. And now we can test our nutrient strength. So uh, our nutrient strength is, now I was aiming for 2.4, but our nutrient strength is actually two. So I have watered the nutrients down a little bit too much. I can add more nutrients in if I like. However, I actually would prefer to undershoot rather than overshoot when I'm mixing my nutrients. So that's actually not too bad. What I will be doing is I'll be leaving it at this ratio and I'll just be adjusting my calculations to it. So 2.0 EC, if I wanted to go up to 2.5, I would just add a quarter more. So rather than adding 20 mils to this, I would add 25 mils and so on and so forth. So don't be too pedantic about getting it to the exact EC that you want finally, because you can adjust your ratios. The pH, just for those interested, is 4.9. So that will depend on the water you're adding it to as well. On the topic of water, if you have really acidic or really basic water, you may need to adjust the pH of the water you're mixing into this. My water is about 6.5 to 7, so there's not gonna be any noticeable reaction with the water. However, if you have really basic or really acidic water, you may wanna pre-adjust it before mixing your nutrient, just so that you're not having any interaction between the nutrient and the little amount of water you're going to have with it. Although I don't think it would be much of a problem at all. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Who Chose. I hope you've learned something. And now that I've got some stock solutions made up, we can finally get into some smaller hydroponic builds. I'm really excited to explore some small container crack key gardens, as well as some large ones. And those stock solutions are going to make it super simple to measure out smaller amounts of nutrient because when you're doing one liter of water, putting one gram of nutrient into a one liter container is just really finicky. And playing with four or five mils per liter is a lot better than trying to explain to someone why you've got a little jeweler's set of scales in your house. <laughs> All right, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Hucho's. Happy hydroponicking and I'll see you next time on Hucho's.